Hey everyone, these are three small LEGO City sets that are new for 2020 that I hadn't gotten to yet. They're all just really, really small and they have very basic names as well. This is Mail Plane. This one's called Forest Fire, which makes it sound like a really big deal, but it's obviously not. And this one over here is Street Sweeper. So let me go through these one by one. In addition to the commonalities of these all being from the LEGO City line and also having similar sized boxes, each one comes with a minifigure basically a vehicle and then some sort of side thing. With the mail plane set, I said this when I saw the first pictures when the set was announced and I can say it again now that I have this thing right here in front of me. This does not look like a set from the year 2020 to me. This looks like it's from 2010 at the at the newest. Just just its design, the basic pieces that it uses, its overall shape, it's just very nostalgic to me. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's definitely a striking thing to me. However, when putting it together, I realized that it does use a fair number of pieces that simply did not exist 10 years ago. Like, for instance, that 2x3 tile there on the front and these skid pieces. And look, here they're in red, which is actually a pretty cool thing. I mean, this is a very straightforward, very basic single seat plane, right? Nothing too fancy. But there is one thing that caught me off guard in the best way possible. It's that tail. That vertical stabilizer piece right there. Look at that. That is a print. It's printed on both sides. Did not expect that <laughs> whatsoever. 100% was just certain that was going to be a sticker or a pair of stickers. But nope, it's a print. That's great. Love it. Very much appreciated. So in terms of what you can do with this, obviously you can pick it up, you can fly it around. It has a little bit of friction in its skids, but not enough to keep it up. So it's always going to fall back onto its tail, which has just a little inverted tile right there. It doesn't have a proper tail skid or anything like that. You can get inside of this by opening up the cockpit and well, that's that. It has a steering wheel for its controls and then it does carry some cargo. Pretty easy to open up and close. Carries cargo from the sides. So you've got one openable container right there and another one on the other side. That's actually very good use of space, I'd say. For the size of this thing, it can do quite a bit. Probably carries more overall stuff than some planes that LEGO has done in recent years that are much larger. Overall, it looks like a plane. I think it looks pretty good. It just looks old to me personally. The side build for this is simply uh, on snow it looks like a snow base you know white base just a mailbox and it does come with a couple pieces of mail two different eras there two different types of mail pieces and it comes with a little bird first seen in uh was it uh, the disney was it the second disney collectible minifigure series just a basic bird like a I don't know, some sort of urching bird. You can imagine that it's a dove if you want, but it looks a little bit more like, uh, I don't know, finch? No, no, a little, I don't know. Dove might be the best thing, but just the beak isn't right. Anyway, I love that bird. So any more opportunities to get that bird, I will jump on and I will appreciate very much. Let's take a look at the figure. The postal worker specific torso looks very similar to the one that's been around for at least 10 years now but it's actually an updated design pretty much the whole thing has been updated uh, a fair amount has a new postal service logo as well with the extra wing and movement kind of uh, swoosh off to the side of it got the high visibility stripe there which unfortunately is not as opaque as i would like like i would like that silver stripe to be more silver you know and more continuous in its it's tone all the way all the way through looks better from the sides and again on the back high visibility stripe just isn't as high of visibility as i would like to see i get that angle just right to where it hits the light or it captures the light you see that it does have good shine to it it's good uh paint or whatever that is ink but it there's just not enough of it forest fire like i said from the name sounds like it could be the major fire playset of the year or something but it's just this buggy and as far as the fire itself is concerned well it's just this little bit right here <laughs> that is your forest fire remember kids 
Only you can prevent this. So, you know, basic thing, using a basic system that they came up with uh, a while ago to allow you to hit the fire and make it go away. Has just this simple little tree stump, a couple pieces of foliage, little leaf pieces on it, and a new version of an owl. That's cool. It's like a tan great horned owl or something like that. Tan version of one. But I like it. And again, another animal. Lego revealed this year that they found out that kids like animals and like uh, mini versions, like toy versions of animals. So they are intentionally putting a lot more animals into their set this year. And guess what? It's not just kids. Because I like it too, unless you just want to call me a an old kid, which is perfectly fine. But yeah, I love Lego animals in general. The buggy is the main thing that you're paying for with this set, though. And this also has a print. That's a printed part right there. The one by, excuse me, two by two by two thirds curve in the front. This uh, this buggy actually looks a little bit more interesting to me in person than it did from the pictures. I think I was really thrown off by the fire cannon back here, which is one of those tile shooters. It has three uh, trans light blue one by one round tiles in it so you can push this and they shoot out and the idea is that you would shoot the fire with the water and make the fire go away uh but you know so that's very obvious right there angle this up and down aim try to fire at the fire with water it's weird but here is where you can really see the shape of the thing i kind of like that round shape on the inside there gives it i don't know just some personality i don't like this big blank space at the back this opens up to give you access to the driver's seat. Who, you know, the driver just gets a steering wheel there. And on the back, there's a single clip to hold on to a completely colorless or all color version of a fire extinguisher. Uh, white. What, is, what does white mean? Usually around households, white is for uh, the ones that put out stovetop fires, oil fires. I don't think that's what that's intended to be for. I think they just wanted to pick a color that would stand out from the other stuff on here. This firefighter figure is actually a named character from the Lego City Adventures TV miniseries, which I do recommend that you check out regardless of your age. It's, it's actually enjoyable in my opinion as, as just speaking from the perspective of a Lego fan in general. It has some decent humor in it, a little bit uh, self-aware, a little bit self-deprecating. In some instances, the silver print on this one is a little bit better. At least I think it is. Maybe it's not just because there's black behind there. So maybe it's just a little bit more hidden. But I don't know. I, I just think that that torso print works pretty well. I think that torso print works pretty well. And the leg print works pretty well. A little bit going back in time, I'd say. Just just a little bit in a, in a good way towards something that really worked. Always has worked. And there's just a little bit more to be seen. Yeah, see? And you can see the rest of the expression and the sideburns, or mutton chops, I guess, by taking that helmet off. No alternate expression, of course, because, you know, you would see it with the helmet. Last up, the street sweeper is a type of thing that, oh, so many people like. Just a basic, small, cutesy, but usable, even good to look at, at least in my opinion, little city maintenance vehicle. You know, when they do things like this, usually they are very well received unless the design is poor, exceptionally poor in some way. This one is not exceptionally poor. So as you move this along, you can see the brushes, which are actually, you know, the, the side ones are regular brushes, but up front you have just gears, just regular gears, but in blue. Those turn like this, this is working. So that's nice for, for the play. And just the look of it, I think, is great. You know, and it, it's it's fairly small. It's not it's not actually as small as it appears because it gets up to six studs wide right here. Oh, that's a print. Hey, that's a print as well. Fantastic. Prints for all three of these sets. These little cheap sets. That's great. I like that very much. It's just the same piece. It's a one by four used twice. Perfect opportunity to yeah, use a print. A uh, couple of clips on the back of this one to hold on to relevant minifigure accessories. These front brushes are able to move over terrain a little bit. They're just free spinning, though, generally speaking. And to get to the operator's cabin of this, 
you can pull off the top like that, which isn't that great. It doesn't really give you good access. So let's try that again. Take all that off. Much better. Very simple. Just has a seat and a steering wheel once again. Also, you're able to carry some stuff inside of this. So you do have to use your imagination here to get you know stuff from dirt and grime and stuff from the street in the form of like one by one studs into the tank back here where it would normally be getting vacuumed up but there is some space to put something in there and it just has a big slope inside to make sure that stuff doesn't get stuck it'll just fall right out so you know just a little something extra they didn't need to put that door in there they didn't need to make this usable space back here but they did and i think the whole thing is better for it all of this is built on just a very basic basic base you know it's mostly just regular pieces just plates <laughs> that's, that's about it so this thing is super wholesome and i think that folks of a lot of different ages will be able to appreciate it for different reasons or the same reason for that matter it comes with just a trash can okay unfortunately they don't have a clip on here to grab that trash can that would have been a nice addition if there's just one extra clip off to the side but there's no space for it as it's built right now and inside there's a banana because they're you know they're preparing you for the upcoming minions theme i guess this guy also to me kind of looks like a throwback figure i mean the the prints are pretty modern here but it just looks like a modernized version of a fairly old figure to me and i'm perfectly okay with that it's almost like this is a miniature lego city legacy line <laughs> almost almost but yeah this one works out pretty well again the silver printing just isn't quite there you know there needs to be more of it but at least the rest of the print is very crisp and definitely opaque that works out well and i'm perfectly fine with a figure like this not having any print for the legs spare parts for the sets are as follows those are the spares for the mail plane those are the spares for the buggy set called forest fire and those are the spares for the street sweeper the best news here is that these sets cost just ten dollars us a piece which is in my opinion exactly the right price for what you get if not even a little bit on the good side like this i could see almost being a 15 dollars set no i could definitely see this being a 15 dollars set so 10 bucks, yes, definitely works out well for me. I can't get over the, just my hang up on the, the design and how it looks so old, mostly by virtue of a few of the pieces used on it, but who cares? I mean, honestly, who cares what I think? But regardless, no matter what it looks like, no matter what I think about it, it's a perfectly fine $10 airplane set that you can put a person inside of and it has cargo space that's easy to use and it comes with a little bird bonus it's all good next up this should not have been named forest fire it does not deserve such a dramatic name but that's just a name again who cares uh with this one my favorite thing is definitely the owl by a long shot the little buggy looks different in person than it did in pictures, at least to me. The set, on the whole, it ain't that great. I mean, it's a buggy, okay. Yeah, it's a buggy, it's okay. It's okay. It's got the little thing that you can actually use to shoot the fire, to put the fire out. That's a fine action feature, I guess. But, I don't know. I, I, I personally see this set being purchased mostly by confused parents and probably more so by relatives of people who have kids who don't know what to buy as little gifts for those kids They're like oh that's a lego and it has a car thing oh and they can put the fire out that's cool yeah i think that kids themselves probably won't go for this that much i don't know probably educated parents will avoid it <laughs> to some degree uh, to quite a degree this, on the other hand, this is fantastic. This, I think, will sell to so many people. I think that a lot of kids who get this as a gift will enjoy it a lot. I think that a lot of adults who get this as a gift or for themselves will enjoy it a lot. I mean, 
for us older fans, you can just look at it and see if you like it or not. Because, uh, you know, all the functionality is, is just right there. When you look at it, do you like it? Yes or no? When I look at it, I like it immediately. And having it in person has not ruined any of that goodness for me. As a matter of fact, it's a little bit better, I'd say. Because it does, it does roll properly. The brushes do move. The pieces are good. It uses prints. Well, they all use prints. That's good. But this uses two of them. And they're, the, the printed pieces are very reusable for other things. And it's, it's got the clips on the back and everything. Like, it's just well done. It's absolutely well done for what it is. So you can't go wrong with any of these sets. I think this is the least right that you can go out of the three. These two are great. The design of this feels old to me, but the value is fantastic and this is just good all over. That's all I have to say. You can check out my build, single build for all three of these, grouped them together just like I did with the review here. I've got the real time version up and I've got the regular speed build version up, which is really short because they're small sets. So check out one of those if you want to, as usual, I'll talk to you again soon.